Hello, Doctor. I'm Mao and Ting from Group 2. This is all my group members. Our topic is about Domino's Pizza. Next page, please. This is our content about our presentation. Next page, please. Let me talk about history, mention, and invention about Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza is an, an American pizza restaurant chain that was established in 1960 as a small scale with only one store in the United States. Domino's first international store opened in Vancouver in 1983. Domino's first competitor emerged in 1986. In 1989, Domino's launched its first new product and more than 5,000 stores opened around the world. In 1995, Domino entered 40 international markets. In 2008, they launched Domino Tracker to track order progress online. In 2009, they launched its new and expelled pizza. Domino's Pizza is still evolving today and it's already becoming the largest pizza company in the world, with more than 17,000 stores in 90 countries. The invention is becoming an exceptional and the fastest pizza delivery company without compromising the quality and tasty. The invention is to be the leader in delivering off-premise pizza convenience to customers around the world. This is all from me. Next is my friend. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shukri. Now we are moving to the events leading to the company's pursuance of the organizational transformation. In 2015, when the company's stock price skyrocketed, the employees voted Patrick Doyle, the company's CEO then, to receive the top workplaces leadership award. Mainly two events will be highlighted, which leads to the pursuance of OT. Firstly, in 2009, there were too many complaints on their pizza, which made them change the pizza recipe from top to bottom. And in 2013, they found out that 80% of the consumers order the same pizza every single time, which made them introduce pizza profiles on the website or apps. So basically, the company managed to transform themselves from a pizza company into a technology company. Thank you. I'll pass over to the next presenter. Hi, I'm Jack Chen Shijie. So the Domino adapt a renewing transformational management in their organizational changes. So these organizations are more likely to have a renewal or transformation approach that introduces uh, the change to deal with the future conditions occur and to be innovators. In addition, the organization using this style are faster at developing new ideas, responds more quickly to competitive changes, and involves more organization members within the business in a renewal process. So in a hyper-turbulent environment, organizations must not re only respond to change, but also take the proactive steps to embrace new opportunities and innovate. The Domino's is basically performing, renewing and transformation management. And then in the first quarter after the transformation, Domino's sales scored 40.3 percentage, the fastest growth rate in the history of fast food chain. Subsequently, the Domino's used half of its marketing costs for five consecutive years to double its sale growth. Hi, Proof and Yangxin Yu. Next, I would like to present its subsystem. The first one is a technical subsystem. Domino Launch is the first website in 1996 to make the entire ordering and delivery process easy and more convenient and has um, amassed a database of uh, 85 million unique customer profiles. Domino has uh, since been testing self-driving car and uh, the on to deliver the food. The next is a manual subsystem. Due to the economic growth and the changes in the nature of the market, Domino's leader has also adjusted organization's operating model, such as the way of the content pick up, in addition, Domino also allows the franchises to make some changes to the operating model according to the different regions. The next is the psychosocial subsystem. In 1999, Brandon became the new CEO of the Domino. He requests employees to properly wear the uniform and train employees to become a high standard employees. He also launched a new policy on organizations culture. Last but not least is a, a structures a subsystem. Leaders offer the customer free pizza, provided the delivery uh, didn't deliver its item within the 30 minutes. It also subsequently changed to the three uh, dollar discount. So next, I will pass to my partner to continue the presentation. 
Thank you, Xin. And I will present the question six. The last change factor of Domino is the new technology system. Affected by COVID-19, Domino's digital operation are innovation again. Domino has a new so contact lines delivery policy for customers and investors. Uh, where customers place uh, orders through the Domino tractor, pay online, and have it delivered to a specific address by a courier. Um, Domino will start the digital marketing model of car set delivery in 2020. Customers who prepare their orders online and wait in their car in 2021. Domino will upgrade the exciting delivery model and launch the two-minute car set uh, guarantee. The service has been filtered out optimized by the on car set delivery. If it exceeds uh, two minutes, the customer's next pizza will be free. Domino is very focused on the development of digital technology and the advancement of technology has kept Domino at the forefront of the restaurant industry. That's all of my part and I will pass to next presenter, Xinhua. Good morning, doctor and my classmates. I'm Hu Xinhua. This is my part. Application of positive model to emissions, the preferred future of Domino's Pizza. First one is the emissions and the, the increase. The first stage determines the themes of progress. It emphasizes partial inclusion to identify the hierarchical issues and they have to the most energy to address. Number two is the inquiry into the best practices. This phase includes gathering data about the awesome staff in the associations. Number three is discover the themes. In this third stage, members examine stories large and small to identify a set of themes that represent a common dimension of people's expressions. Number four is the envisions of preferred future. Then people look at the capital themes, uh, webly and creating convincing future. Number five is the design and the deliver way to correct the future. The final phases is to describe the activities and correct the pa uh, plans necessary to bring out the visions. It's a proceed to action and assessment phase similar the similar to those of action risk research described the publicity. And the next part to my partner, Ayman. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and hi, my name is Ayman Mardia and I will be presenting about the intervention strategies that Dominus use in its change effort, which are techno structural intervention and strategic change intervention strategy. Dominus techno structural intervention then aim on improving organization technology focus on its structural design, which is customer centric. They keep on pushing for technological advancement that can cater to most of their customers' needs. Some evidence which prove that Dominus Pizza transformed themselves into being a technology company are the launch of Pizza Tracker in 2008, launch its first iPhone app in 2011, launch Anywhere in 2015, launch Drone delivery in 2016, introduced Domino's Hotspot in 2018, introduced Domino's Car Site Delivery Service in 2020. Next is the strategic change intervention that aims to transform the organization to keep up with the changing condition that is pursued by Domino's is leaning towards learning organizations, which centered on moving beyond solving problems and learning how to improve them continuously. As evidence, Domino's Pizza have undergone a Domino's Pizza turnaround campaign, have pushed the CEO and his employees to acquire and develop new knowledge, which is the invention of new recipe for their sauce and dough to improve the taste of their pizza as a way of them reacting to keep up with their environments. Other notable evidence of innovation that proved Domino's has used strategic intervention through learning organization are the invention of heatwave hot bags that were invented by Domino's in 1998 to keep pizza swarm during delivery, the creation of a spoodle tool, a combination of a spoon and a ladle to reduce the time spent putting sauce on pizza, the invention of the robust corrugated pizza box, which keeps moisture out during delivery. Hello again. Now I'm going to present the final part, which is four change metrics that are relevant to measure the two intervention strategies. For Domino's pizza, we have developed four change metrics which falls under the three categories as follows. Firstly, under the organizational performance is organization's adherence towards the timeline of pizza preparation and delivery. Second and third, under the individual performance are employees' adoption rate towards the new mobile or online pizza ordering apps and employees' adoption rate towards the new pizza recipe.
And lastly, under the change management performance, we would suggest the change metric is the effectiveness of employees training for new pizza making procedures. That's all from us. Thank you very, very much, Doctor.